Welcome, guys, to the start of a new Let's Play of an old game that has been remade many, many times, with its latest remake being the Pixel Remaster that didn't come out too long ago as Final Fantasy does its first six games all updatey. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm here to play this because we've been playing, of course, Final Fantasy XIV over the last four months on the stream. That hasn't shown up on the YouTube at all. And I've just recently, of course, completed Endwalker. And there's a lot of Final Fantasy IV themes, or at least themes of many older Final Fantasy games through there. So it, it piqued my interest to go back and play the game of old. To play a game that I don't think I've actually played, but I do know stuff about, because I watched my little brother play bits of it way back when I was younger, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So, this will be a full playthrough of the game, of course, voiced by me, commentated when there are no voice acted cutscenes. This is the 3D remake of the game, because I put up on Twitter what people wanted to view, and they wanted to view the 3D remake, not the new Pixel Remaster, which actually does come with cutscenes, voice cutscenes, 3D models, and the whatnot, and supposedly also the most faithful translation of the game. So if you like that kind of thing, here we are. So without further ado, let me press new game and start off a new fantasy. On normal difficulty. Lord Captain, we're nearly to the Baron border. So we are. It troubles him, too. Orders may be orders, but this, this goes too far. Lord Captain! We are the Red Wings, the pride of Baron! Must we now be thieves, sent to plunder from the weak? Enough. But Lord Captain, the Mycidians offered no resistance, and still we cut them down. Listen to me. We did no more than what our kingdom's peace and prosperity required us to do. The Mycidians knew too much of the crystal and its secrets. His Majesty deemed it so. We are the Red Wings of Baron. It is not our place to question the orders of our king. Lord Captain. Lord Captain! Monsters of the Boar! Let's get into our first battle then. So, for the other questions as well that might be at the start of the game as we attack the floating eye, is this is the, the DS version of the game. Ported and ported again, so this came out on mobile phone and then it's been ported to PC and I'm playing it on PC. As we take out- okay, Floating Eye did not die. It's HP somewhere around 40 by the look of it. If we can dispatch it with normal attacks and not use any extra abilities, that's fine by me. They didn't even get a slice in. Phoenix down ain't bad, but there's no one to rest me. Everyone all right? Aye. With all these monsters as of late. Disturbing, is it not? I wonder what it bodes. We've reached the castle, my lord. Well then, prepare for landing, men. My lord! Too many classic tunes coming out here. <laughs> ah, the young lord returns triumphant. You did secure Mycidia's crystal, did you not? The crystal is ours, but the Mycidians, they did not even raise a hand in their own defense by gun. All the better then, is it not? Only fools would dare oppose the almighty will of Baron. Come, we must not keep his majesty waiting. A 
Mama, my lord. Your Majesty, I fear our good Lord Cecil's faith in you begins to waver. Does it now? Indeed. Your loyalty and worth have proven once again, Captain Bygun. But the crystal is all that matters. Bring him before me. As you wish. Lord Cecil, His Majesty bids you enter. The Kingdom of Baron held your return, Cecil. You have brought me the crystal, I trust. I have, Your Majesty. We relinquish the water crystal. It is genuine, Your Majesty. So it is. See how it shines. That will be all, Cecil. You may leave us now. Your Majesty, have you some other matter to discuss? Our King has granted you your leave, and yet you would trouble him further. I know it is not my place to ask, Your Majesty, and I pray you can forgive my indiscretion. But what is it you aim to do? Your ways are not as they once were. My men's hearts grow heavy with misgiving. As does yours. Your Majesty, no, I would never doubt. You take me for a fool, Cecil. Do you think your treasonous whisperings escape my ears? After all I've done for you, Cecil. You wound me. This is most unfortunate, but I can place no trust in one who offers none in return. I hereby relieve you of command of the Red Wings. My liege! You will go now to the Valley of Mist instead. There's a task I would have you do. A phantom creature haunts the borders of that land, the Eidolon of Mist. You will slay it and deliver this ring to the village that lies beyond. They will know its meaning. Be gone at first light on the morrow. Your Majesty. I beg you, my liege, reconsider. You know Cecil would not betray you. Ah, Cain. I was not aware this matter concerned you. But as you seem so eager to protect your friend, let your spear accompany his blade on the road to mist. Your Majesty. I've no more words. Take the ring and be gone, while my mood is yet fair. We obtained the Carnelian Signet. My leech! Kane, forgive me, I did not mean to draw you into this. What's to forgive? We'll stay this idol on if it's then all will be forgotten. You'll be commanding the Red Wings again before you know it. Kane, you must be tired from my city, you know? Leave the preparations to me and get yourself some rest. So we begin. Let's have a look around. Rumors swarm about his highness like so many flies, but I shouldn't have think what might happen were you to catch wind of them. Fresh actions are ill-advised, at least if you value your life. Can I get him to a menu? Oh. <laughs> Side menu. Got the inventory over there. The Xbox controller to give us battle. Like data. I was about to say, where's the... Where's my art? What shows me? Dark sword and more. A ton of darkness goodies. We have a whole 14 gil. My liege, what could all this possibly serve? I do not know. Where do you want me to go rest? I for one believe in our king. He's a man who is not afraid to act on his beliefs. I cannot help but sense a changed air about his majesty as of late. By the way, I do need to fix a small issue at the start of this. Of just a little bit of the syncing of the sound and the video. Spare me just two secs. That'll be a lot better. That'll be a lot better indeed. <laughs> it's milliseconds, but milliseconds matter. Congratulations! Word has it Missidia was a success in their crystal Lazars now, thanks to you. What? Sleeping on duty? I would never do such a thing. Did I not go this way? The Valley of Mist lies beyond our far northwestern border. I've not been there myself, but it's said to be shrouded in a fog that never lifts. What is it? 
This is all my doing. Forgive me. I told you, there's never to forgive. What's wrong? It doesn't like you to act like this. I do not train in the way of the Dark Sword so I can steal from innocence, Kane. I train because his majesty asked it of me. You mustn't blame yourself for the orders you were given. Our king had his reasons, I'm sure of it. I am you, Kane. Cecil, so you saw me. I saw the openings you left. How would you expect to lead the Dragoons if you cannot even guard your own flank? My father's blood is in me. I will lead the Dragoons. Have no fear of that. You're suddenly headstrong enough. No more holding back, Cecil. Fight to win this time. Don't overthink things, Cecil. You need to keep your wits about you. Or do you mean to send me off against the idol on alone? Of course not. We live early on tomorrow. Best get some sleep. If I can find out where the sleep is. What is it, Cecil? Can't sleep. Gotta find it first. If our esteemed commander and Lord Cecil of the Red Wings join as one, it is the enemies of Baron who need fear. Well, this esteemed commander doesn't know where his bed is currently. I guess we'll work it out with time. The provisions within this chamber are yours to employ as you see fit. The switch upon that wall controls the mechanism that opens the door. Woo! <laughs> Don't tell me there's a punishment for opening these now. 480 gil. Ether. Sometimes we chest like this in games if you leave them till later or something. And a tent. The rewards become better or weird stuff like that. Thanks for the secret chamber, man. It's very nice of you. Oh, going over and under. Cecil! Hello, Rosa. Thank goodness, you're all right. The orders for Missidia came so suddenly, I'm I'd worried. We're fine. Small wonder, considering we fought mages who did not fight back. Cecil! I'll visit you in your tower later. Of course. Of course. Wait, I got a whole tower? Cool. Can't just jump out the window, though. Oh my goodness, there's like a billion chambers to this place. It's almost like it's a dungeon. Ah. We've imprisoned the Mercidian mages who stood against us. It should be safe to speak to them as long as you do so through the bars. Ooh. <laughs> Whenever you see that, it makes you know you've done an evil, right? Just the look of them. Dude, you're that filthy Dark Knight. Do you truly think what you've done will go unpunished? I guess no other dialogue. What you do to us is of little consequence, but please, you must restore the crystal to Mycidia. You know nothing. That crystal is not some mere glittering stone. There was an old man too. Being replaced with another black mage. Yes, yeah, so a visit in his private chambers we're waiting for. In glorious 3D. We found the dungeon. I'll probably stumble upon my bedroom sometime in the future. Wait, I came down this way. Oh, ah! Baron Castle's pretty big. Oh well, look who's home! The Sid! Rose has been worried sick about you, you know. Make that girl cry and you'll have me to answer to, you hear? Speaking of girls, how are my babies? Didn't burn out any engines, did ya? You and them goons of yours need to treat those ships with more respect. 
Hey, why the long face? Something the matter? Sid, I, um... What? And he's sending you to hunt the Eidolon instead. But what'll happen to the Red Wings without you? I tell you, something's gone into his majesty. He's ordered me to build a new ship, you know? A more maneuverable one, with more firepower. What's he thinking? I'm not building these things for him to wage war. Let's talk about the, among the townspeople, too. Everyone's worried about where Baron's headed. And now the king's sending you away from us? Miss eh? Will you take care of yourself? Suppose I don't need to worry about you, though, do I? I best be on my way, too. That door of mine is gonna wring my neck if I spend another night here working without checking in at home. Da -da 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 I take this is my room then. Greetings and salutations, Sir Knight. My name is Namingway. I travel the world, bestowing new names upon those dissatisfied with ones they already possess. But as of late, I find fewer and fewer wishing to take advantage of my renaming surfaces. What say you? Won't you try a new name on for size? I'm cool with Cecil. Emoticons are not allowed. <laughs> okay. Say what? You can't change your name? Well, this is certainly unprecedented. It's almost as if though my existence here serves no purpose. Wait, I couldn't change my name? And that way you cannot change your naming way. You cannot change a man's name is no naming way at all. I believe it is time I embarked on a new journey to find my proper place in this world. Well then, until we meet again. I couldn't change. I didn't even try to. I just wanted to keep it default for posterity's sake. Off to find a new bringing in for the world. A meaning for living. I've turned your bed, my lord. They told me you would be departing again on the morrow. Rest well tonight. Was someone says they've turned my bed? Was the side of my bed that wasn't turned really that stanky? I'm gonna go to sleep, right? Nothing else to view by look of things. Can I read what's on the notes here? Nope. Rest for the night? Sure. I'm sure there's more of the castle to explore. But I feel we'll have time. In some capacity or other. Your Majesty, what's become of you? Where is the noble knight, the man who took me in as an orphan and raised me as his own? The strong, just king I once knew. Is a crystal worth all this? Robbing a peaceful people of what's theirs by right. What need could be so great? King's orders or no, there's no forgiving what we've done. Cecil? Won't you tell me what happened? First you're sent off to Mycidia, and now to hunt some beast again so soon? Did something happen in Mycidia? No, it's nothing. Then why won't you look at me? I... In Mycidia, we... We stole a crystal from people who had done no wrong. I've worn this darkened armor for so long now. There's no mode of light left in me. Not even in my heart. You're a good man, Cecil. I'm a coward. A coward who cannot even defy orders he knows he ought not follow. Cecil of the Red Wings is many things, but he is no coward. Not the Cecil who I love. The King is sending you to Mist to slay the Eidolon, isn't he? If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't... King will be with me. I'll be fine. It's late. You should get some rest. Be careful. Thank you, Rosa. But I know what I've become.
Shall we then, Cecil? I'll be counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear. Dark Knight Cecil, stripped of his command of the Red Wings, set out for the distant Valley of Mist. There with Cain, commander of the Dragoons, he would pursue a faceless quarry and a chance for redemption. The advent of the airship had marked the realization of mankind's most ancient dream, but man is a creature seldom sated, and he was quick to dream anew. the unparalleled might of the Red Wings, Baron's military soon reigns supreme. Why then does its king now seek the crystals? And why have fearsome monsters suddenly begun to overrun the once calm land? If the crystals know, they share no answers, only their pure and silent light. Off we go then. Straight to here, this is just the town then, I take it. Before we start, let's actually check out Baron Town 2. It's that moment where you get sent off and you go, Oh, it's town here. <laughs> go off into the world. Go to your next destination. No, 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 no. You hear that rumor? Word is there's this place called the Training Classroom on the Devil's Road. New adventurers can get all sorts of advice down there, or so they say. You're Lord Cecil of the Red Wings, or my eyes betray me. You seek the Valley of Mist. It lies beyond a cave in the northwestern mountains. So we've got items we can buy with the money that we recently got. Pets, potions, and antidotes are a traveler's boon companion. If you're journeying afar, best be well provisioned. Welcome. How much is a tent? I have one tent. I will buy a second tent. A bestiary cast Libra on a foe? I'm guessing I do not have the ability to Libra currently, so I'll take one. At the very least. Zero potions. We have nothing to heal ourselves up with at all. I'll take a couple of potions. We got the Phoenix down earlier in the fight. I'll take an extra one of them for the road too. A little bit of uh, curatives probably won't go too bad, considering, yes, we do not have a healer. <laughs> How come you're dressed like that? Are you a bad person? Kids these days. 50 kill for a night? I bought a tent. Cost double that. Wait, what? Hello. Look, Lord Cecil, I've done the wheel, I swear. My taxes are all paid. Well, if it's not our own dark night. Funny, surely you jest. You made prison serious payment enough. Robbing up the inn, robbing up the inn. <laughs> Gnomish bread, a tent, and iron drops. I am truly the villain, for I just took some extra taxation. Nothing good can come of our meddling in the affairs of mist. Building house at the entrance to the Devil's Road, the Dwimmer path that leads to Mysidia. In quieter days, it was a thriving means of trade, but now the wizards have sealed the exit on their end, effectively closing the route. There's also a military classroom down the cellar, though I'm sure you've no need to be told about combat. Ah, so there was, like, a place that can get you through places. Even in caves, there are save points where you can record your progress. Use them wisely. Besides, the figure is crucial in combat. Lacking that, you could always lower the battle speed like I do. If you want to test your medal, try setting the battle mode to active in the settings menu. 
I will let you enjoy the thrill of relentless assault by your enemies even while you attempt to select magic and items. Isn't it already set to that? Use the party menu to place weaker party members in the back row. Ah, row swapping. Technically, none of the ones are in there. So now you'd have changed the order in which they attacked in order to fight more strategically. The Y button, you can do that as well. It's courage to know your limits. We got use RB to run like mad. I have a Xbox controller plugged in as I play all my PC games with that. It's a lot easier. I was trying to get other controllers set up on it, but it just wasn't registered them. You can activate all the battle by pressing the X button during combat. This will cause all party members to automatically select the command set for them in the abilities menu on each turn. The command set for them. So you can set an auto battle command? And lots of switches around. Mercidian Exodus Steel preventing travel. We were told. So fast travel awaits us later on once we clear things out a little bit. We'll make our way there in foot, really. Remember these days that our king trains his men in the way of the Dark Sword? Yes. Feel like I should check out the well. Okay, so this door is locked. What's this place? Barbara was out working all last night again. Why won't he realize he's not young enough for this anymore? You'll tell him for me, won't you, Cecil? Tell him he needs to settle down. Tell's people have been saying horrible things about his majesty and the others of the castle. It's all father's been able to do to steal their tongues. We know there are plenty of good men there, like you. Is this Sid's house? Yeah. <clears throat> She's finished. New engine too. Good on you. 